Hello everyone and welcome back. This is probably episode 2, but it might be episode 3 of our Let's Play. It depends on what the producers decide here. Um, but looking at our team, I did want to make some moves before the season, but I think we're going to have to wait. We'll do a quick auto sort of our team. We are coming after a great uh, rookie season and a lot of luck here as Boston with a 3-1 lead in the conference finals. Largely because their top two players went down with injury, but we'll pretend it was just because we're a good team. Um, it says it wants us to start Levine and Morant. Now, we did have some really bad contracts. We'll have to make the tough decision to move on from. I think I'll start Wendell Carter at center. Um, I guess Markinen has got to be our power forward. Bogdanovich will be part of our bench. And I'll, I'm honestly contemplating starting tier. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go with a three guard rotation here and bench Aaron Gordon but we'll see that that last starting spot I'm going to do some experiments with early in the season I guess you could say it's a competition here um, so we'll sim the first three games and we actually started out really rough with three straight uh, or three out of four games being losses and it's largely to Laurie Markkinen who's just not playing well um, so I think we do have to bench marketing, but we're really not getting much production at all. So I guess Aaron Gordon's got to be the starter there. Um, our three guard lineup has been effective, but uh, I am noticing Morant's stats are down a little bit. And I do want him to be an MVP candidate here. I am also concerned that as the cap uh, continues uh, to be a problem and injuries are a problem, uh, we might not be able to surround Morant with as good a team. They're dealing with a lot of injuries so far this season and uh, Fultz. And Mbaka are both starting for us. I guess I'll move Bogdanovich in. Um, this isn't a really great start to the season. I'm, I'm a little worried about our team this year. We're supposed to be the favorites coming off a title win. But uh, with the exception of Morant, who continues to have a great game, we are, or a great season, we're really struggling. Uh, both with health and production here. Uh, we have just a 14.6 PER from Wendell Carter, who's going to be a free agent and demand a big amount of money. Um, we might have to make some tough decisions this season, though I do really want to try to remain competitive, at least until I can give Morant that really big contract. And then after that, we might have to blow this team up. We're 25-6 and six now. We've been on a great run. Uh, the run largely thanks to, uh, to health and some really great plays from Bogdan, who's really become our sixth man once again. And of course, Morant and Levine, who are our dynamic guard duo. Um, we'll continue trying to keep this up here. Wow, a uh, string of losses, but uh, some great play from Levine and Morant. We'll take a look. We did lose three straight at one point, but we're definitely one of the top teams in the league. We might actually be, I don't think we're going to be a 70-win team, but if we are a 60-win team, I want to be pretty excited. I do want to see if we can break 60. Um, I I'd very rarely break 60 in hard mode, um, especially three years in, and the Bulls are not a particularly great team. Uh, to start with, they're in a pretty rough spot, especially with Otto Porter's contract. But we've had some really good uh, luck, both in the draft lottery. I mean, the draft lottery really blessed us here. And Morant's progs are just absolutely phenomenal. And he's really going to be our, our franchise guy for this uh, simulation. And I, I plan on keeping him his entire career if I can. I accidentally simmed through the All-Star game. I'm just getting really hyped here. Let's take a look, see if we have any All-Stars. Um, I, I would hope we do. Uh, Jalen Brown making the All-Star team is pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, we'll take a look here down below. John Morant was the starter on an All-Star team and did quite well. Um, but it doesn't look like we've got, got him any All-Star company. I did notice Andrew Wiggins looks like an All-Star, which is great. And before I forget, uh, we do have to import the draft class. So again, back to BBGM. Go into our other league here, and we'll do an auto play. We'll see how they do in their year two, see if they can win a championship as well. Uh, just comparing us with the CPU while we're also grabbing the draft classes here. Um, I do hope that they have the feature to be able to do random debuts, uh, and uh, they could potentially take the PID or the player ID and exclude active uh, player IDs and just create an endless loop. Uh, mostly saying that for the fact that uh, hopefully Dumb Matter sees this video. We'll see if we get lucky there. But they actually also had a really good second season. I'm actually a little concerned here that they might uh, that they might go somewhere. No, they lost in the quarterfinals. Cool. Ooh, no pressure. All right. And uh, yeah, but it, it does say something that they're not too far behind us. All right. So. 
it looks like did only a few seasons generate um it looks like only a few seasons generated random debuts that's unfortunate here so i guess i'm going to let me just take a look yeah it looks like only a couple seasons generated the random debuts um so i guess what i'm going to do here is i'll take this last season um and then we will have to import uh some we'll probably pick a random year probably like 94 or whatever and we'll do a random one from there um so we can actually pop out and delete this uh this older one uh league 273 and we'll go back to our current one there will be a couple random players but i'm not too worried about that um ultimately i just want the i want to recognize the vast majority of players um because i think it adds a little bit of realism that we'll know the rough style of players also Loki gives those who know basketball a sizable advantage looks like zizik's going to be the main guy in this draft um which i don't really matter to me i'm not going to have a high pick i don't think i do want to make some moves cap related because honestly we're going to get really messed up with the cap guys like larry markinen who aren't performing taking massive cap hits for us um moving him and eric gordon or aaron gordon uh could potentially be really helpful here we'll send uh probably this year's first because i i think that's all we can really take as a loss here um could we potentially get Kawhi at the end of his career i think i saw that yeah we can get Kawhi. we do have to find a way to make the cap work I guess I could include Beverly. We're really going to be pushing it, though. Um, what would make that work? Oh, go on, Levine. No, I'm going to say Levine, Fultz, Bogdanovich, Serge. Um, we're going to just keep uh, trying to... We don't want them to ask for anyone that's seriously valuable to us. They want three first-round picks. You know, we're really not asking... For too much here we just want Kawhi. I, I guess we are asking for a decent amount um but what if i take on some really bad deals for you Let's take on aaron holiday i know you i gave him to them not too long ago here um and we'll see if this works for us i need to include one more player we'll include motley um they want alonzo tier i can give up tier he is a, t a good prospect, but I, I really want to win a, a second ring here and kind of establish ourselves as a dynasty, mostly due to the fact I want Morant to stay put, um, and I do have serious concerns that he will leave. Uh, so Kawhi is a big risk here, especially because this really leaves us without a true power forward. We'll be rel relying on Serge and Baca at the power forward spot, um, and, and that, that is a little risky, though I might go small ball depending on how this works out, um, or potentially start Bogdanovich. Um, I guess we'll wait and see uh, what develops in that in that field here. We did improve overall as a team. We'll take another weekly sim. We dropped three games. I guess we didn't. Oh, wow. Wow. A major injury to Wendell Carter. This, this is uh, game-altering for us. I mean, we just lost arguably our best big man. And we're already really thin up front. Um, and Baca's going to be playing big minutes here. Um, I'm really regretting that trade now. This is crazy bad. Okay, so El Hay, who, who was drafted by the Bulls, will have to be playing a huge role for us. We'll probably be using Bogdanovich as our backup center. Wow. That's crazy. We are not in a good spot to match up against taller teams here. We are picking up some injuries, but... I do think the quest for 60 wins is still doable. I just don't know how we're going to do in the playoffs with so many injuries. Um, games that Morant doesn't play in, like he didn't play in two games, and we lost one of them by a pretty concisive margin or decisive margin. But we did hit the 60-win mark. But we do have injuries to Kawhi, Kobe, uh, Kobe White, and Wendell. I am really concerned about our team going into the playoffs here i mean i think we're a top team yeah we did we did come in first we're good but i i have some worries um we'll see how this series goes we pick up, picked up a win 
Uh, let's see the, the Toronto team. They're they're missing Pascal. If Pascal does come back, he might be able to bully us. Um, I, I do think that team's not particularly bad. Um, but we'll kind of see here. All right, I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so we made it through the first round. We'll see who we're against. We're going to be against Brooklyn. If that's KD, yeah, K KD and Kyrie. Come on, we we have to beat them. If we don't beat them, I'm gonna be sad. And they are missing Torin Prince, who I think is an underrated two-way player. Uh, his defense ain't that bad. Um, that's actually one of his strengths, in my opinion. Um, and we took the three-game series lead. I mean, this isn't a particularly great. It's an aging team. Um, and we'll see who we're going to be against. If we do, if we can win the series, I'm pretty confident. Despite us not having any real big men here, um, I do think that we can pull. And Levine gets hurt. Yep. That's not good. That's not good at all. So we did lose Levine, and we're against Giannis and other Kyrie. Why am I always against Kyrie? Oh, wow. And I, I do think New York is going to be a powerhouse here. Wow. New York just took three straight against us. Once Levine went down, we really found ourselves in a hole here. Um, injuries have decimated this team. Um, I guess I'm going to have to start Fultz this next game. We need to change something up. Um, yeah, we just got knocked. That's going to go down as one of the biggest playoff meltdowns I've ever seen. We'll see who wins the championship. New York wins the championship. Uh, Derrick Rose does retire. He becomes the first MVP to not be in the Hall of Fame. Though, I think Spencer Hayward won MVP. Let me let me check on that real quick. I think Spencer Hayward won MVP, and I don't know if he made the Hall of Fame. Checking on that real quick. Um, Spencer Hayward. Oh, he got ducked in 2015. Damn. Yep. Rose is the first MVP to not make the Hall of Fame. That's just kind of sad. And it's injury related. He did win a ring, though. Um, but we might lose Morant here uh, next season. We'll have to consider a rebuild, if I'm being honest. Um, like... We really had a rough season injury-wise, and we're missing some of our best players here. So I'm a sim to my pick. Uh, I'm going to pick Patrick Patterson and Orlando Jennings, but I, I don't know if they're going to be able to help us too much. Pretty late-round picks here. Um, we're going to lose Levine, Carter, and Bacon. Uh, that That's rough, uh, but Kawhi does want to come back at a fairly affordable price. So I, I will give Morant Kawhi. And we do have a decent amount of money, $31 million to spend in free agency. Uh, so I do want to surround him with a fairly competent guy. Um, I guess we could bring in LeBron and Paul George, but we're going to be an old cast. This will be a really a one-season run here. We're going to bring in LeBron. All right. And um, the other guy we're going to bring in here is Paul George. No, we need a big man. That's really what killed us this season is we didn't have a big man at all. So th this is not a great free agency for big men um, <laughs> at all. This is actually a really bad free agency for big men. So we're going to have, like, scrubs up front here. Um, all right. First up, I'm going to start with we're going to pick up PG-13. Um, and w these are not going to be good contracts next season. And we're probably going to have to tough it out here. Um, and we're going to add Beverly. And the reason I'm doing all these moves is basically we're going all in to win another ring. And then once we win the ring, we're going to sign Morant to a massive deal, like a five year max deal. Hopefully he wants five year max deal. We can start a real rebuild with him because I am concerned that long term. This team is not going to be sustainable around Morant because we are quickly increasing in age. So in terms of other big men we can add, Thaddeus Young will probably be the best we can get. We are under the salary cap for the first time since our first season. But the prog gods do not favor us. They do favor Morant, who is a reigning MVP and it has now a 75. But our center is going to be LeBron James, uh, I, I guess. I guess Serge will actually start at center. LeBron will be power forward with Kawhi at small forward. 
Morant, and then we lost Levine. Um, so I guess Paul George, uh, with Kobe White being sixth man, Bogdanovich and Fultz will probably go in and out there. Um, I'm actually really concerned uh, about the drop-off, especially if we suffer an injury. I think we are, on paper, a better team, but we really don't have anyone up front. Um, so we'll see how we do after a week here. We're looking good, but we did suffer injuries to LeBron. Um, and as I, as I said, without our depth, I mean, LeBron's only now played eight minutes, and we're seven games in, so we'll we'll have to keep checking on that. Um, but with a healthy LeBron, we also struggled. Um, LeBron putting up triple doubles and Morant put, picking, putting up triple doubles. I mean, we're an old team. We have, I think, an average starter age, if you take out Morant, is 34-35. Um, that's, that's just not good. All right, we did pick up four straight there. I'm a little less concerned now that the season's not looking too bad, but we do definitely have to make a move of some sort. Um, probably going to have to trade Fultz here. I mean, last season's meltdown was just not not by my standards at all acceptable, um, and I, I I really don't want to do that. Um, I also want to get a lower cap hit if we can. Yeah, I'm not. I guess Sharif Cooper. But I don't know if there's any decent big men free agents. Yeah, there there really isn't any decent big man free agents there. I mean, we'd be looking at Mike Muscala potentially. So we we really don't have much of a choice here. Um, I'm going to sim here to the All Star game. We'll see how our team's doing. LeBron missed the game and we lost, of course. Um, when our team is healthy, we're really really solid. But when we suffer injuries, especially to our front court players. Um, it looks like Kawhi, and we only finished with two All-Stars, Kawhi and Morant, but Morant is second in MVP voting behind Booker, um, Booker putting up the mad stats. Uh, I, I, largely, our team doesn't fit great together on paper, and Baca's a really good big man, but more of a power forward at this stage in his career. Um, we really just are struggling up front, and PG-13 is really struggling. I think I'll move Bogdan Bogdanovich into that role as the primary starting shooting guard, and we'll see how that goes for us. Uh, we'll go another week here. Um, a mixed bag week. We picked up two losses. We'll see how that continues here. All right, we're just getting consistent mixed bags. Um, not anything particularly horrible. All right. And once the playoffs start, we'll go grab the other draft class. We are probably not a 60-win team this season. A big regression. Our team's average age is way up there. We're probably going to be a failed super team. Probably win 59 game, 57 games. We even finish as a second. 70 games for New York. The reigning champions added Steph Curry. That's crazy. Now, uh, we are going to... I'll show you guys how to set up a 90s roster. So if we go to Basketball GM here. And then we select um, real players, and we select, uh, we'll do 2000, and, uh, no, we'll do 96. Um, so we're going to do 96, more options, and we're going to go randomization, and we'll select random debuts here, and we'll scroll down. Create the league, we'll just wait a second here. And I'm going to go players, draft, see how many generated. Okay, now we're getting a lot generated. Kyrie is in the next one as well. We're not going to do that one. Um, instead, we're going to take... I guess we'll take this middle one. I haven't seen too many of these guys around. Um, so we'll export the 1997 class. And then go back to our league file here. Go to draft. We're going to import... 1997 roster here. Alright. So LeBron, Simmons, Antetokounmpo, Wright, Julian Wright. I don't even know who Julian Wright is, but I'm sure he's a lovely prospect. Alright. Um, 
going to the playoff brackets here. So first round, we're against Indiana, uh, which wasn't a bad team just two seasons ago, but they've had some really bad progs, and they're significantly older than they were. Um, plus, they're dealing with an injury to D. Rose, and we'll see how that goes in Series 1. Picked up the first game. I think we can probably sweep them out. Uh, LeBron with a triple-double, but Fultz goes down. So we didn't sweep them out. Um, New York actually lost one. Hopefully they get eliminated before we play them. I think Morant might have won his second straight MVP. And I, we really, if we don't get a championship, there's a legitimate chance that Morant here leaves. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Um, in game, in series two, Detroit, we are, let's see, does Detroit have anyone good? Yeah, John Collins, Clarkson. It's not a bad lineup, but this isn't a particularly good lineup. Though I do like CQ. Hopefully I pronounced that right. John Morant's back here. I didn't even realize he was out. We were doing so well. All right, we did take a loss, and we lost two guys who started a lot of games for us this year. Um, to replace him in the starting lineup, I guess we have to throw Blake Griffin. I mean, we are thin up front. Like, our our front court is super thin. Kawhi Leonard going down, too? Wow. Okay. This is going to be a really interesting test of our team. We, we are missing our entire front court. Um, like, everyone that is normally in our front court is hurt. Uh, we, we're really going to struggle. I guess Patrick, Pat, Pat, he, he's also out. Um, CJ McCall? No, we can't really start him either. I, I guess Gordon Hayward at 33 years old is just randomly going to start at small forward for us. Um, that's unfortunate. We really need to hope that that game, that series goes to seven and New York won. All right, we'll see here. We did get LeBron back, um, but we are missing Kawhi. We'll see how that goes. They picked up game one, and Blake Griffin gets hurt. Injuries are killing us here. Um, all right, I guess we're going to be rolling with replacing Kawhi. Probably can be done by Patrick Patterson if Blake isn't healthy. Um. Maybe Markel Fultz moves into the rotation. We'll see. All right. Hey, we picked up a game, and LeBron will be out the next game. But Morant did carry us here. So we have to make another move here, I think. Because with LeBron out, Patrick Patterson and Kobe White are going to be starting. And that's a, that's a little small because we're, we're really down to just one even remotely tall player. So I think we'll move Gordon Hayward back into the starting role here, and that I, I'm just not liking doing that here. Um, fortunately, our team is healthy now, but we are in a two-to-one hole. I don't know if we're going to be able to recover in time here. Um, fortunately, we will be able to start Patrick Patterson, which I think is a small upgrade over Blake. We'll see. Um, I am really concerned about our prospects right now. Hey, we did pick up the win, but Kobe White, of course, gets hurt. Um, not much we can do about that. We tied the series, though, and they answered right back. So, fortunately, we did last until, uh, Paul George returned. And Paul George is really the perfect replacement, um, in our starting lineup there. We're not really playing with, uh, scrubs here, though. I, I do really want to watch this game live. Um, but I think we'll only do that if we hit Game 7 here. And we do get to Game 7. Um, so without Kawhi Leonard, who is one of our our best players, we're going into Game 7 against a legitimate super team. I mean, they won 70 games. Um, it's Giannis Irving. This is Irving, too. Uh, Steph, Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox. I mean, whew, that's a good roster. I don't I don't know if we can win. Uh, fun fact, there will be two Fultzes in this game. It's going to be hard to keep track. All right. Whew. This is... Uh, this is intense. Um, we'll pause at the end of the first. So, there we go. Uh, end of the first, we're up by two. LeBron has yet to score, but John Morant has. He's at 14 points. Meanwhile, for them, 
Steph Curry is leading the way with a great game. Uh, other than Steph, I guess Bobby Portis off the bench is being productive, but they don't really have any amazing games. All right, we'll call this halftime. Sorry, I'm a minute over. Um, I think it also adding a simulation to sim to the f uh, first, second, third would be cool. Um, all right. So, interesting stat lines, but we are up by nine, and it, it's basically, I don't even want to credit Morant on this, it's mostly a LeBron game, he's probably going to a triple-double, um, but it's just really a, a really bad game on both teams' sides, as weird as that sounds. We'll see how the third quarter goes. Uh, we did really widen our lead, which is great. But they did come back a lot at the end, um, thanks to Kevin Knox, of all people. I, I'm really not a fan of Kevin Knox. I really haven't been. I think New York just hyped him up because they wanted something to root for. Um, and Baca's having a really solid defensive game, and LeBron's on pace for that triple-double. Uh, Morant's having a great game, but the guy that's really carrying our team, Blake Griffin, um, outstanding game for him. Patrick Patterson's really struggling. And on their side, it's just a team effort. We'll see uh, how the fourth quarter goes here. We're up by five. We really widened it, but then we kind of blew it a little bit. All right, so Giannis hit a shot. Giannis, foul Giannis fouled out. Damn. Um, let's see if they, they need a three here. They hit. They're down four. With a minute left, we have the ball. LeBron hits probably the dagger three. Uh, Kevin Knox, uh, three-point play. He hit the free throw. LeBron got a foul. Knox foul. That's basically an intentional, but Serge, of course, misses one. Uh, they have 27 seconds left. They need a three here. Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, ended up at the line. He missed both of his free throws. Uh, and that, that's the game, um, I think, yeah, it's the game, all right, we are going to the playoffs, honestly, a little anti, or we're going to the finals, uh, honestly, a little anticlimactic, but we're going to show down against Zion Williamson, Jackson Hayes, Lonzo Ball, other Paul George, um, and this is actually going to be really intense, because if we lose the series, we lose Morant, most likely, they picked up game one, we picked up game two, we do have Kawhi back, we picked up game three. Come on. Game four. This is exciting. All right. They picked up a game. We can do this. We can do this. All right. Cool. So we are basically now going to be able to build around Morant as our team starts getting up there. We're looking right now at basically trading a season for a win. Um, New York is basically a super team. Um and unfortunately, Morant was robbed of his second MVP by Devin Booker, who averaged 40 points a game. You know, just a little bit. Uh, L.A. does retire here. I think he finished with one ring. Yeah, he didn't get two, right? Yeah, he only got one ring here. Um, but great career by LaMarcus Aldridge. Um, we'll probably... I don't think we're going to get anything here in the draft. Nothing meaningful. And we'll re-sign players here. I'm going to negotiate with Morant. He wants a four-year deal. I guess I can't really negotiate any more than that. Now we have to make some decisions. We have a lot of good players that want to be free agents here. And we're going to have to lose a lot of them. Um, I don't really want to pay Kobe White $20 million because he isn't worth $20 million. But at the same time, while we really need a big man, we have to bring Bogdanovich and Mbaka back because we really can't rely on a free agent filling the void that they played. So we'll bring both Mbaka back on a one-year deal and Bogdanovich on a one-year deal. And in theory, this doesn't seem like a great decision here. Um, but I think we're also going to bring back Kobe White. We, I'm going to bring him back on a three-year deal. Hopefully he progresses right. Otherwise, that's a big mistake. We really don't have the cap, uh, the, the finances to handle anymore here. So with that, we'll go to free agency. We'll see if there's anyone we can get. Uh, former All-Star Clarkson, former player Rubio. Um, but we need big men. We don't, we don't need anything else. So we're going to bring in Vucevic. 
and Horford. Um, and we'll then sim a week, see if anyone else opens up here. Doesn't look like it so far. Not yet seeing anyone. I guess. Oh, I was I was just about to add uh, Clarkson to our team, but I guess I messed up there. All right. Doesn't look like we're going to really be able to add anyone else. So I will add Rubio and Barnes here. Hopefully they develop a little bit. Um, and we'll see. As we go into progs here, this is probably going to be the last season on this uh, Let's Play. Wow. All red. Um, basically, Morant is the only good thing about our team. I'm not expecting much from this season comparative, comparatively to our second championship season. Um, we have two rings in four years, so I, I think we're doing okay. But we'll, we'll see how it goes from here. Um, so now I want to show you guys real quick how to export a file. Um, just because I want to add more tips and tricks as we go. So you go to export league here. And this counts to serve as a backup. I want to select with box scores. Um, this is under the tools tab. Export the league. Now, what it'll do is give it a second. It will basically download that file. And if I go into Basketball GM, I go to Custom League. I can either use a URL via Dropbox or upload a league file, and then simply select the file you want. Um, and mine is the 2024 preseason. Now we don't actually need to do this, but this is how you go about it, and then you just create a league. Anyway, guys, this was an awesome let's play. It was really exciting. Uh, some really close games. I, I wish it was a little bit um, different results, obviously, but um, we did bring Morant back, so we'll get to probably play out his career, and I I'm really excited for that. Um, so we'll see how that goes.